Welcome to Microbial Concepts. So in this video, we are going to study about another staining technique, which is known as negative staining. Okay. So in this particular staining, mostly nigrosin or nigrosin is used as the prime stain. Okay. So now what is negative staining? So this is another staining technique, which is used in microscopy to visualize the morphology and external features of microorganisms or any other biological specimens. Now, this is actually an indirect staining technique. Okay, why? Because it uses negative or acidic stains. That's the reason why the name is negative staining. Now, this involves staining of the background surrounding the specimen. Okay, not the specimen itself. We are not, uh, for example, if you are trying to stain a rod shaped bacterial culture, so it will not stain those rod shaped bacteria, it will stain the background, okay? And it will create a contrast that allows easy observation and analysis. So, this is how you will see under microscope, okay? So, these are uh, bacterial cells and the background that is what gets stained and it creates a contrast which helps in easy observation under microscope. So now why to perform this particular staining technique or when to perform? Okay, what is the purpose? So the first purpose is you determine the bacterial shape and arrangement just by doing negative staining. You don't need to go for um, gram staining always. Okay, then it also helps us to stain the organisms which are too sensitive to be heat fixed. Okay, in uh, some staining techniques, there is heat fixing process, right? After making your sample, you air, air dry it and then you heat fix it before adding your stain. Okay, so some of those organisms are um, heat sensitive. So it is where you can use negative staining and you can observe them. Now, what is the principle? So, nigrosine or nigrosine, uh, which is also known as India ink, is actually a negative stain. Okay, it has a negative charge. So, the bacterial cell is also negatively charged, right? The cell wall of bacteria has negative charge. So, what will happen? This negative and negative charge will repel. Okay, and that's the reason why bacterial cell will not take up the uh, nigrosin dye and the background is what gets colored. So as the dye used is anionic or acidic, it has negative charge. Thus, there will be a repulsion between negatively charged dye and negatively charged bacterial cell. As a result, specimen seems clear or transparent and it is outlined by the stained or dark background. Okay, so see here. So India ink, it the this stain was previously known as nigrosin stain. Okay, so what are the other examples of dyes which you can use in negative stain? For example, here first is 10% nigrosin, which is commonly used. Then 2% of eosin and 1% of aqueous Congo red can be used. So now let's study the procedure of negative staining. So for this uh, staining technique, you need two clean grease free dry glass slides okay so on first glass slide what you will do you will put a minimal drop of nigrosine towards one end by using your dropper okay then take a inoculum say from your culture plate or slant directly by using a sterilized inoculating loop and then you mix it okay mix it properly with the drop of nigrosine then after that you need to take the another grease free uh, grease free dry glass slide and then you need to place it in uh, or at the center uh, such that the one end of your slide touches to the uh, main slide where we have our nigrosine and culture okay so what you need to do now you need to tilt the second slide okay uh, such that it forms around uh, acute angle and then you slightly need to draw the tilted slide until it touches the um, drop of culture organism and the dry uh, dye okay then you need to drag this slide towards that drop okay you need to do this once and twice so that 
what will happen the age of this glass slide will make sure that you get a even broad and thin bacterial smear okay so here you are not uh, preparing the smear by using your uh, inoculating loop itself okay here you are using another glass slide okay the edge of another glass slide you need to drag it across your uh, negrosin dye and your bacterial culture and then it is how you will get a thin bacterial smear see here you can observe you need to drag the second slide on the uh, first slide where you have your culture and dye so this is how you make the smear now just you need to keep it for one minute or so so that it will get air dry okay you do not hit fix in this method right so you will air dry your smear and then you will observe under microscope so now here you need to observe under oil immersion lens that it that is 100x so what you will do first you need to put a drop of oil immersion don't forget put a drop of oil immersion and then you need to fix the uh, lens properly so that adjust it properly so that you can observe the slide okay so what will be your result you will see background that is stained gray and you will see colorless bacterial cells so this is how you perform negative staining okay so in this staining process you will get your uh, slide ready within four to five minutes okay So what are advantages? So first advantage is you get a clear unstained cells. Okay, for proper observation against a black stained background. Okay, so it does not involve heat fixing of the specimen. As a result, the cell will not deform by heating. If it is sensitive, then it will not deform. Then it can also stain heat sensitive microorganisms such as pyrochytes or yeast. It is quite an easy and rapid method as just one dye is uh, used and you just need to air dry. You don't need to wash. You don't need to decolorize it. Okay, just air dry and you can observe your slide is uh, ready within five minutes. Then what are the disadvantages? So negative staining does not provide much information about the cell. Okay, uh, rather than just the cell size shape and arrangement okay so that is for basic uh, morphological study you can use negative staining okay just to if you want to know uh, what size the bacterial cells are what shape they have what is the arrangement okay whether they are single cells or they are in chains etc okay so that is about advantage and disadvantage so this is how you will see uh, bacterial culture so this is for negatively stained spirulum volutans this is for negatively stained bacillus okay so these are the vegetative cells and these are the spores then negatively stained cocci is what some something like this you will see then bacteriophage okay so this is under the uh, electron microscope right so this is all about negative staining very easy staining technique so i hope this is a helpful video to you do like my videos do share my videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you